G'day YouTube, today I'll show you how to make an advanced notepad in Visual Basic 2008. Start off by creating a new Windows Forms application and just calling it whatever you want. I'll call mine Advanced Notepad. Once the form is loaded, just resize the form to your liking and then add a menu strip and add file edit and format and then add a rich text box click this little arrow and click doc in parent container and then click file click and type new open save and exit and then click edit and type undo redo and click and then add a separator then cut then copy then paste then clear and then select all and under format add font and color okay it's time for coding so click on file double click new and type rich text box one dot clear and the code is pretty pretty self-explanatory just clear what's in the rich text box then double click open and type the following code and here's the code try dim dialog as open file dialog equals new open file dialog that just makes an open file dialog then dialog.title equals open dialog.filter equals rich text files and this little thing then star.rtf if dialog.show dialog equals system.windows.forms.dialogresult.ok then rich text box one dot load file dialog .final. that just loads the file of the dialog file name and yeah catch is this exception colon and try and that colon means new line then double click save and type the following code and here's the code try dim dialog as save file dialog equals new save file dialog making another dialog dialog.title equals save dialog.filter equals rich text files star.rdf if dialog.show dialog equals system.windows.forms.dialogresult.ok then which text box one dot save file dialog dot file name comma which text box stream type dot which text and if catch x is exception and try and colon means new line and then double click exit and type the following code and and click edit and for undo type this code which text box one dot undo which just means undo what's in the which text box then double click redo and type which text box one dot redo then double click cut and type which text box one dot cut and then click copy and type which text box one dot copy and then click paste and type which text box one dot paste Double click clear and type which text box one dot clear and double click select all and type which text box one dot select all and then for format and font type the following code for font and here's the code try dim dialog as font dialog equals new font dialog dialog dot font equals which text box one dot font if dialog.show dialog equals system.windows.forms.dialogresult.ok then which text box one dot font equals dialog dot font and if catch x is an exception colon and try and then for the last bit of code for color type this and here's the code try dim dialog as color dialog equals new color dialog dialog dot color equals which text box one dot four color if dialog.show dialog equals system.windows.forms.dialogresult.ok then which text box one dot four color equals dialog.color and if 
and just add a colon here. And then debug it. And then let's test it by type, just whatever. New, you know, whatever. I can click undo, whoop, undo, redo, cut, paste, copy, paste, paste, select all, and clear. And you can edit the font and the color. And there's the events notepad. Um, you can also save it as temp rtf new open temp rtf. And yeah, thanks for watching my video on an advanced notepad in Visual Basic 2000.